in today's video, I will be showing you a few methods you can do which will hopefully resolve the problems you might be facing with Call of Duty Cold War Zombies and the new Outbreak mode. These issues could be performance problems, textures not loading, FPS drop, maybe you're getting blue screen and crashing issues, or perhaps your network just keeps losing connection, or perhaps you're losing the progress of your challenges and weapons. But before we get started and look at these errors and how to resolve them, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We hit 40,000 subscribers, and that is thanks to all of your support. If you could help us hit 50,000 subscribers before the end of summer this year, that would be absolutely amazing. And also, if you enjoyed this video and it helped you, don't forget to give it a like. So the first thing you want to do is just simply ensure you have all the latest Windows 10 updates installed and also the latest drivers for all your hardware. If you're unsure on how to install the latest drivers for your hardware, then I will put a link in the description below to my website where I will update it with all the latest links and also add a few more things that I might have missed in this tutorial. So once you have updated Windows and all the drivers for your hardware, restart your PC and then boot up Call of Duty Cold War Zombies and see if it resolved the issues you're having. If it didn't resolve the problem you're having, then don't panic because there are still a lot more things we can try. And the next thing is to go to the second link that is on my website for DDU. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. Basically, this is Display Driver Uninstaller. And it will completely remove the display drivers for your graphics card. And then you will be able to do a clean install. So you will basically download this program. This is what it looks like in the image. You will then need to press Clean and Restart button but you will need to do this in safe mode and also disconnect the internet from your computer when doing this. So you simply just unplug the cable from the back or if you're in safe mode, you shouldn't be connected to the internet anyway. So basically disconnect the internet, do a clean and restart and then keep the internet disconnected and then install the latest drivers for your graphics card. So you will need to make sure you have downloaded the drivers for your graphics card before doing a clean and restart. Once you have done that, then go ahead and launch Call of Duty Zombies and see if that resolved the issue you're having. And with a bit of luck, that would have resolved the problem. This does resolve a lot of issues when it comes to the graphics in Zombies and also crashing issues. If that didn't resolve the issue you're having, maybe you're having blue screen issues or performance issues and textures, then the next thing you want to do is just make sure you don't have any overclock settings enabled on your computer. So to turn off the overclocking settings, you need to do this in the BIOS, unless you used a program in Windows to do this. And also while you're in the BIOS, so disable any GPU overclock settings and RAM overclock settings, if you've messed around with the RAM, and also disable XPM. Once you've done this, boot up Call of Duty again and see if that resolved the issues you're having. And with a bit of luck, it would have fixed the problem. If you are still having problems with the game, then the next thing you want to do is go to the start menu and you now need to type in Call of Duty. You then need to click onto the arrow and go open file location. We now need to right click on Call of Duty Cold War and go to properties. You now need to go to compatibility and we now need to make sure we have run this program as an administrator selected and go apply and OK. Now launch the game and see if that fixed the issues you're having. If that still didn't resolve the problem, then go back to this area and right click on the shortcut again and go to properties. And you now want to go to compatibility. If you're having issues with 4K, perhaps the game keeps crashing as it does have a few problems with 4K, then you now need to click on change high DPI settings. And you now want to click on override and you now want to change this to system enhanced and press OK, Apply, and OK. Go ahead and launch the game and see if that resolved the crashing problems you're having. If it didn't, the next thing you need to do, which will hopefully resolve the issues you're having with the 4K crashing, 
or perhaps textures not loading and the graphics just drop in frame rate all the time is to boot up the game and then click on settings. You now need to click on graphics at the top and if you're using 4K you need to unfortunately tone the resolution down to 1920 to 1080. As you can see I do have a 4K monitor but if I change it to 1920 by 1080 it does stop the 4K crashing and also it did fix the texture loading issues with my game. The other thing you also want to do is to turn off V-Sync on the menu and also gameplay. This will resolve a lot of crashing with the game. And you then need to scroll down and you're now looking for frame rate limit and you just want to change this to custom and just tone the frame rate down to 60 and then press apply and see how the game runs. If it runs a lot smoother or it doesn't crash, I know it's frustrating capping the frame rate, but this can resolve a lot of issues. But if it does run a lot smoother and you don't encounter any issues, then slightly raise the limit up until the game crashes again and then tone it back down. The other thing you want to do is scroll down a bit more and we want to turn the shadows down. The shadows I find do cause a lot of texture loading issues with the game. As you can see my VRAM usage is currently almost at the max. You can see the little line there. Although I do have a lot more memory. But yeah you can see the VRAM is almost at the line. So that's not good. That will cause me a lot of problems in game. So you want to basically get this bar a bit more down. But turning off shadows or at least changing it to medium can really resolve a lot of issues with the VRAM and textures and stuff like that in game. And also turn off ray tracing. Ray tracing, although it does look beautiful, it does also cause a lot of issues with Call of Duty Zombies. So turn it off or at least turn it down to medium or low setting. So that brings us to the end of the in-game settings. We can now go back to Windows and we got a few other things we can change which will hopefully resolve the problems you're having with the game if changing all these settings didn't resolve the issue. Also actually while we're in the settings I do want to bring up something else and that is under account and network on the top right hand corner. I'm just going to discard the settings that I applied. You then need to scroll down and you now want to actually turn on packet loss and you also want to turn on server latency. As you can see in the top left hand corner now, I have two new options. And basically when you're in game, if you're having a lot of issues with lag or the network keeps dropping which is causing you a lot of connection loss problems, keep an eye on the server latency and the packet loss. If this is all going nuts, say the server latency is up at like 200 ms, then you've got a real issue and that could actually be related to your internet connection. So the next thing I would advise is you just go onto a website like even Google offers a free speed test and just make sure you're not having a problem with your internet connection. Like I said at the start of the video, I will put links on my website of sites that can help you out. And also check the connection type, make sure you are definitely wired. You don't want to be using Wi-Fi, that will cause a lot of problems as well. So the next thing as well on network is we also want to click on one of the other links that are on my website. I'm just going to quit the game quickly. Once you have closed down the game, you then need to click on the other link on my website which is to the supportactivation.com online services where it will tell you if there are currently any problems with Call of Duty Cold War. As you can see it currently says all platforms online which is good, that means there's no issues there end. You can also click on battle.net just to go to their Twitter page and confirm they haven't posted any tweets saying that they are doing any maintenance or anything like that. So once you have done all that and if you're still having issues with the network, then the next thing to do is restart your router. But just remember if anyone's using the internet at the time, then that will obviously boot them off. So basically just restart the router, turn it completely off and then turn it on again and see if that resolved the issues you're having. If restarting the router still didn't resolve the problems you're having, 
then make sure you're not using a VPN as that can cause a lot of issues as well. And also we want to make sure Call of Duty is definitely approved through your firewall. If you're using Windows Defender Firewall, to check this, all we need to do is open up the Start menu. You now need to type in Firewall. And you now need to click on Windows Defender Firewall. And you now need to click on Allow an Apple feature free Windows Defender Firewall. And you now need to just make sure Call of Duty Cold War is on the list. And as you can see, mine is. And it's also got the ticks. If yours isn't on the list, then you need to click on to change settings and you then need to click on allow another app. And you then need to browse for your Call of Duty Cold War install location and add the game. Once you've done that, launch the game and see if that resolved the network issues you're having. If it didn't, or you're not using the Windows Defender as your firewall, disable any security that you do have installed and then run the game, but just remember, while your security is disabled, you are not protected from any threat. So just be extremely careful with that. If you're still having issues with Call of Duty crashing and not working properly, then the next thing we need to do is right click on the desktop and you now need to click on display settings. We now need to scroll all the way down until you find graphic settings. You now need to click on this option and you now need to turn off hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Once you have turned this off, restart your PC and then launch Call of Duty Cold War and see if that resolved the issues you're having. If that still didn't fix the problems you're having, disconnect any devices that are plugged into your computer that you don't need, just leaving your mouse and keyboard. And also if you're using more than one monitor, also disconnect the other monitors from your machine. And then launch the game and see if that resolved the issues you're having. If you're still having problems with the game crashing or blue screening, or perhaps your system keeps restarting, then the next thing you want to do is just make sure your computer isn't overheating, like your graphics card or your CPU. To check this, we can use a program called HW Monitor. The link to the website is on my site, along with all the other links, and this is what the program looks like. As you can see, it's got all the temperatures of what my computer is currently doing. So make sure your graphics card and your CPU and any other hardware is not overheating. Because that will cause all sorts of problems. Not only in Call of Duty Cold War, but other games as well. So unfortunately, if you are still having issues with Cold War Zombies, then the only other thing you can do is just make sure you have everything in the background closed. Make sure you don't have web browsers running at the same time as the game. Make sure you don't have a music player open or a video player. Just make sure everything is completely closed down and then launch the game and see if that fixed the issue. If you are still having problems, then the only other thing you can do is do a scan and repair on the game. To do this, all you need to do is open up battle.net app. You then need to click on the settings cog and then click on scan and repair. And then this will scan and repair any corrupted files with the game. If that didn't resolve the issue, then unfortunately you might need to uninstall the game and install it again. And with a bit of luck, that would have resolved the issues you're having. I hope you enjoyed this video and it did help. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.